Hi, I'm Raina. It's Jason. We're back at Bound. Today, we are talking about the French DMV. All right. <laughs> yes. You may be asking yourself, can I use my U.S. license in France? Or, or do I need to get a French license for my trip? That's what this video is about. Stay tuned. Here's a condensed version in 60 seconds of what you need to know. One, if you are staying in France less than a year, bring your valid U.S. license, get yourself an international driver's license from the local AAA, and you are set. Number two, if you are a student, make sure your driver's license from the U.S. is valid for the entire time you're a student here, and get an international license, and you are set, <laughs> even if it's over a year. And number three, if you will be here over a year, and literally this means 366 days, you will need a French driver's license. How you get that, there's different ways. Which one you qualify for is gonna depend on where you live. Stay tuned, we'll tell you more. So for a short-term stay, so anything less than a year, what do you need? First, you need a valid license from wherever your residence is, wherever you're coming from. That license can't expire while you're in France, so right. make sure it extends beyond that. So you've got a valid license, you're registered to drive in your country of origin, Bring that license with you, but you also need to get a translated version of that. Not everyone here speaks English or whatever language you're coming from. So a translated version. Yeah. Easiest way to do that in the U.S., an international driver's permit through the AAA. Uh, you can look it up online. It's a very simple process. It takes 20, 30 minutes. Cost costs uh, $25. I think $25, I think, last time we yeah, did it. Yeah, yeah. Something around there. Easy process. You can check it out online and register and go in and get one. Yep. And uh, the one thing you need to know about this is that you may see different places that people will say, you don't need that. Don't waste your time and your 20 bucks. Yeah. And here's the thing. We were here for months and we're beginning to think the same thing. Nobody has asked us for this. Why did I get this? Thing? Why did we get this? Uh, and then one day we went to rent a car and they refused my Colorado driver's license and asked me for my international one. And we were like, oh crap. We had to go home and actually get it out of the file box because I had even stopped carrying it thinking that I didn't really need it anymore. So it is true. There's probably, you might go the whole time even with not needing it, but there might be a situation where you do and you're going to be glad you had it considering it's not hard to get. Right. And technically it is required. That's so that. what about if you're a student? Uh, right. It's a little different. If you're out here on a student visa, you fall into that short term window no matter how long your studies go on for, as long as you've got a valid student visa and your studies are ongoing, again, you just need your driver's license from your country of origin. Um, it can't expire while you're here. Mm -hmm. And you need a translated version of that license. So an international driver's permit would work. And um, you're good. And you're good. You're good as long as your studies are continuing and your visa is valid. As soon as your studies expire, your student visa expires, you immediately fall into that long-term Category, bucket yeah. where you're going to need something different and yeah. stick around for more details on the long term. And as one quick note, um, while I think that most students coming to France are probably 18, when you come to study, 18, the legal driving age in France, which is a little different, at least in the U.S. In the U.S. it's 16. Right. Uh, you can get as long as you've had driving school, but that's not the case in France. So just something to know. All right. Now, Number three, you're coming to France and you get to stay more than a year. Congratulations. Yay. Yeah. But you're going to need a French license. You will need a French license. <laughs> Two different ways to do this. You might qualify to exchange your U.S. license. Or you might have to take the French driver's tests. Right. So first, what's the exchange about? So if you are from 18 states, which hopefully we are showing you now or we have linked to in the description, uh, there is a reciprocal driving relationship, I guess you would call it, with France, meaning France says, hey, they, your, that state standards meet our driving standards and vice versa, and we will literally take your license you will mail it into us along with a few other documents uh, that we will link to the website below to figure out, and they will send you back a French driving license. So l when it says exchange, it means a literal one. Like you're going to send in your U.S. driver's license and you're going to get a French one sent back to you. Yeah, so one tip if you're going down this path, if you are in one of those exchange states, is it's possible to bring two licenses with you. Um, we've seen other people that have you can report your license lost. Uh, there's different ways to get a second license. That way you're prepared. You've got one license to send in to the, to the French driving uh, representatives. 
in order to get your French license. It's called ants, by the way. Ants, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always think that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then this way you've still got a valid existing US, US license for when you go back. Um, yeah, because technically your French license, because of the reciprocal arrangement, technically your French license will be good in the U.S., but I think that it's a little unfamiliar to many people if you need to pull it out or use it as an ID, so we have heard of people doing that so they preserve a copy of their U.S. Yeah. Uh, when in their possession. So the exchange process is pretty simple. Mm -hmm. It's all done online, uh, so you create an account on the ANTS website. Um, <laughs> And there's a list of documents, uh, pretty straightforward, but it does include your driving record. Um, yes. And this is kind of the, maybe the one wrinkle that might yes. be unexpected. So you need over two years of driving records in order to qualify for an exchange. You can probably get this from your, the state or the country that you're in right now, but you need to have documented proofs of some type of physical copy of your driving record. And it needs to be longer than two years. We ran into a bit of a problem uh, yeah. <laughs> coming over here. We had moved to Colorado. We'd only been there around 18 months. Right. So my Colorado driving record was 18 months long. And they were like, oh no, not enough. Doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need over two years. Uh, so to do that, we had to go back. We were here in France. We had to find out a way to get our <sighs> Texas driving record online. It was a little cumbersome. Right. I and wish we had known in the U.S. beforehand that I've got to show at least two years uh, of driving record. Yeah. And have that with me. Yeah. Uh, in physical or digital form before we start applying for our French license. And they actually prefer, there is a way around this, there's a box you can check, but they prefer if it shows on that driving record the date that your first license was issued. So that's not a big deal if you can't get it, but if you can, they prefer that. Yeah. There is a bonus to getting these driving records that yeah, here. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so if you need insurance, driving insurance, um, and we did not, we were able to get that through the, the car rental companies that we've had. But if you're here every year, you probably will. Yeah, but when you get to the point that you need driving insurance, there is a massive discount for your driving record. The longer your driving record is, the bigger the discount is, and it can be substantial. Yeah. Much is, more than in the U.S., like yeah. up to 50%. Like, yeah. you know, there's usually a little discount for good driving in the U.S., but I right. never saw one that was like half off, Yeah. Uh, whereas it is here. Yeah. yeah, so it's worth it to take an extra moment to get the <laughs> longest driving record possible, possible yeah. whether that's from multiple states if you've moved around or just to make sure that you've got as much information Enough for as you ants. Show. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you are not from one of these 18 states and you've been sitting on the edge of your seat thinking, oh gosh, then what do I have to do? What about me? What about me? The answer is yes, you will need to take a French driving license, driving test. So the French driving test we have not taken, but as we understand it, um, it's in two parts, similar to most of the U.S. states. You've got to pass a written test, and then you've got to pass a driving test. Again, you can schedule all of this online. You don't have to go to the DMV office, uh, which can be intimidating in the U.S. Uh, <laughs> Let you know, alone in when French. You're speaking English. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so the driving test, you can schedule it online. It's a 40 question test at this moment. You gotta pass it with like an 85% or mm -hmm. higher. Lots of online resources you can find probably to study for this and figure out what is the what do the signs look like? What are the rules for each right. you know, intersection? One bonus when you're signing up for this is you can check a box in the application process to say that you're not a native French speaker. You're not fluent in French. This will give you the ability to bring a translator with you, set you in a special test setup that will give you more time to take this test to help you with you know translating each question as you get ready to answer it yeah so that's a great benefit you need to arrange your own mm -hmm. translator they will not provide it for you right but you, you can bring your own translator that. if you have to pay them you know that's up to you to schedule yeah. um, but it is a good option allows you to take the french test even if you <laughs> don't know great french so then the driving test if you pass the written test you then move on to the driving test um, the driving test again it's about half hour in a car with uh, an instructor grading you. <laughs> Everyone's um, having flashbacks to when they were 15 right, right now. It was horrible. <laughs> um, so you do drive on the same side of the road as in the U.S., so that's a benefit. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, but it is a little different. The signs are different. There's lots mm -hmm. of roundabouts. If you have a valid U.S. license, you do not have to go to driving school. Right. You don't need a yeah. minimum number of driving hours in order to apply for the test. Having a valid license lets you bypass that. It still may be a really good idea to sign up with a driving school. They're called the auto e -coles. 
yeah, yeah. you're in France. Even if it just helps you get a little anxiety out, I think, yeah. before being in like the real situation, um, it could be beneficial. But it's not required, yeah. like Jason said, if you have a valid For purpose. sure. So in, in that situation, you can kind of coordinate with the driving school to set up a certain number of hours maybe that you feel would be beneficial for you to get behind the wheel, learn some basics. The instructors can help you. They're doing this full time. This is their job. So going to the test, uh, you'll have kind of two options. You can sign up for a a license that allows you to drive both automatics and manuals. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of manual cars on the road yeah. here. If you're comfortable with that, yeah. fantastic, you're set. Uh, if you're not and you would think, I need to drive an, an automatic, you haven't had a lot of practice in a manual before, in the application process you can set up that you just want to get the license for automatic cars. It restricts you to just automatic cars, but then you'll drive an automatic in the testing. Uh, you, there's nothing stopping you from bringing a translator with you into the car as well in the driving test. You can imagine that might be a little challenging if the, yeah. driver's, the instructor is speaking French, then your translator is translating it for you. In real time. Uh, in real time. <laughs> yeah. But that is an option. One bonus, uh, I don't know, I'm <laughs> trying to see the glass half full here. Yeah. One bonus with these tests is you can fail as many times as as you want and you can keep taking <laughs> them. Want. There's no, there's no, you're not no going to get black blacklisted. Mark, yeah. Um, on this right. and just keep trying. They're not particularly expensive. They do take time mm -hmm. to, to register yeah. for and set out. So you can't just keep taking them day after day, but you can keep taking them. So you it's not, you're that. not like out of, if you take it and do fail, you're not like out of options, right? You can, you can start over. But mm -hmm. I think that leads us to the one big takeaway that we want you to end this video with, which is, don't wait to start this process if you know you are staying in France more than a year, no matter if it's the exchange or if it's setting up the driving test. Because think of that first year. Yeah. No, if you know you're staying longer, that first year is really the French government giving you a grace period to get all these things set up administratively and get them done. And so like the exchange process for us, it took about three months to exchange our license. I have heard of other people taking six to eight months though. And I'm not sure what yeah. was different. Um, and then the same thing with scheduling the driving tests, depending on the area you're in in France, I've heard that some areas it, you know, you might have to schedule that driving test three months out uh, right. and other places, you know, you can get it sooner. So. Uh, I think that's the big takeaway here is just don't wait to start either of these Give processes. yourself some time for sure. There's You can start that immediately after validating mm -hmm. your visa. So yeah. once you've validated your visa upon your arrival, you can kick those processes off, whether it's an exchange or setting up driving tests. There's no reason to wait. Right. Even if you are from an exchange date, that's what I'm trying to say, um, if you miss that year window to exchange your license, you then fall into the you have to take a driving test yeah. bucket. So, you know, that's also another thing to be aware of is like, if you don't take advantage of that administrative benefit the first year, the French government's like, oh, well, all right, you gotta take yeah. a driver's like the driving test. Don't miss so. that opportunity. Don't miss the yeah. opportunity. One tip that we have had, if you are like, have broken out in a cold sweat now thinking about this driving test, we have heard of people actually yeah. moving to another state for a little while or changing their address um, to get a license from an exchange state before they move so that they don't have to go through this process, yeah. but... Every state's gonna have a different process. So you're gonna have to investigate of the 18 states that are on the exchange list, what might work best for you if mm -hmm. that's something you're interested in. I do be aware that you're changing your state of residence upon leaving. Right. So, you know, if you plan on voting, you're paying taxes, um, they're gonna, they're that's gonna be all gonna change. There are implications, so you need to yeah. think about that yeah. um, before you set that up. But it is something we've heard of people It is doing. an option. Right. It is an option. Yeah, you can get out of these tests uh, if you need to. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, yeah. So if you have taken the French driving test, since Jason and I have not, we would love to hear about your experience. Yeah. Drop it in the comments below. Um, I'll also link to a Facebook group that I know of that is very active. Uh, it's a group of people supporting each other that are expats getting their driver's license because this isn't something that we have experienced. Yeah. Uh, but you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, good luck. Good. Thanks for watching. Aviento.